All right, we are in a new tournament. It is uh, Monday's qualifying round for the Fuji Open. Some of these holes, we, uh, if you're playing in Ricky, you won't be able to practice. So this will be our first look at them. So Monday's definitely um, a practice round. Somebody asked me, you know, how do you practice um, miss putts? Don't. I don't normally do anything that will improve my opponent's score. I don't like to forfeit and give them a extra. Um, it's not that I don't like my opponents, it's just I, I'm trying to play fair with the game, but sometimes I'll miss a shot just because I'm setting it up and I don't care if I time out. Today is strictly about learning the course. So today's goal is to establish what clubs I'm going to use from the tee box and what ball I'm trying to use. So that's my goal today. So on a lot of these holes, the goal is to find out where the red lines are at so that we can establish which club we want to bring and we can make sure that we get our numbers right. So if we're, hey, we're going to bring this ball on this hole and we're going to bring this club and it's going to make it so that when I'm shooting that shot, I'm at minimum clubs. So then we want to make sure that we know what our minimum numbers are for those clubs. So hole number one, I always like it when they start off with a par three. When they start up, when these tournaments start off with a par four, it's usually you pretty much have to make an eagle on that first par four and having to start off just like right out the gate by getting those eagles, you know, that's a lot of pressure on you when you first start a tournament. So being able to go out there and at least get your feet underneath of you and play a par three um, is not a bad deal. Now this par three originally was was a pretty decent hole in one shot, but they've redesigned a lot of these old par threes and it's not, it's just a little bit tougher. So on this hole right here, I'm going to use a backbone and I'm going to use a Marlin. We'll see where we're at with that. So I'm going to take, I'm going to switch this bag around. Do I want to do that? Mm, I'm going to switch this bag around for sure. I don't think we're going to be using a big topper on any of the holes in this one. We'll have to play this. I'm going to change this to an extra mile. There's a lot of these holes we are going to be playing a guardian on. <clears throat> or there is a potential to play a guardian. So having that, having that bag available. So I'm going to take my number two bag, my Acura bag and a Marlin. And let's go check this hole out. Hole number one. All right, hopefully everybody had a great off week. I really enjoyed last week's off week. Usually after tournament week, especially if you don't do very well, then you uh, it's kind of a let down week. But last week I really enjoyed having last week off. It's not that that Americana Classic tournament wasn't like super tough. It's just, I don't know, it was just brutal. Let's try about three and a half. Where are we with our red lines here? So there's our max club. Let's see where our minimum's at. Minimum's right there. So we're eking towards max. More max than more max than mid. And once again, we're not gonna worry about timing out. So let it roll over so we're gonna make a note here so my backbone when it's at maximum club hits about 1.2 per ring let me do the math here real quick and we'll see where it hits where it's at mid club so it's a 1.2 times 1.5 should be about 1.8 at mid we're not quite at mid and we're not quite at max so we're a little bit so we'll see how it rolls with the 1.2 and if we're if I'm finding that my wind adjustments not quite right it looks like there's also supposed to be from my previous notes there's a 20% wind adjustment So let's use our max number to start off with. So here's our max club. Just gonna kind of find a spot here. That's 
three and a half. Let's see where we're going. I think that's a little too much backspin. So four three, if it was a 20%, that would be eight. So that would be about five. And this is I'm gonna do about four and a half rings. And hit great to the left. Tried to snap that off. Here I'm just looking for distance because I think that backspin was a little too much. And you can tell I was off on that. I was actually going fairly close towards the hole, even though it was a great to the left. So on that one I had about three and a half backspin. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna put that down at at right at three backspin work that number as the week goes on. I'm really never concerned about par threes. I really, some par threes, you just, you play them enough or you're comfortable enough on those holes. When I'm playing that you start off right off the bat and you're there. Um, a lot of these holes, I just kind of work them towards the weekend round and I'm not really concerned on par threes. My goal is to make sure that I get an absolute guaranteed birdie shot on them. And as the week goes on, I want to continue to dial those holes in and get them tighter and tighter and tighter until you're giving yourself an absolute legitimate chance for hole in one. But my goal on par threes is to definitely secure my, my birdie and move on to the next hole. All right, that was hole number one of the Fuji Open Tournament. Um, we're in Monday's practice round in the rookie division. Thanks for watching.